There are millions of Americans who live in the blighted cores of America's cities, places where reporters and photographers are outsiders. There may be glimpses of these places on the news when there is a crime, but you rarely see more than a glimpse. That is now changing. This 75-minute documentary is what started it, straight out of Hunter's Point. Shot four years ago, it shows a Bayview Hunter's Point you won't see unless you live there and live to tell about it. Kevin Epps is the filmmaker. Man, I, I'm from this, you know? So I live, this is part of my makeup. You know, I can go places where they could never go. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I'm born here, I grew up here, I live here, you know? So my family here, my partner's here. His film has not gone unnoticed. More than 20,000 DVDs have been sold, and Epps has been befriended by people such as director Spike Lee and has just returned from the South by Southwest Film Festival in Texas. They flew me out there. I'm with Current TV, you know, and uh, Charlize Theron is on the panel. You know, I, you know that kind of stuff. So it's like, bam. His success is spawning a whole new class of documentaries far from the polished Michael Moores and Ken Burns of the world. This is also from Bayview Hunters Point and is part of a new five-hour documentary called Hood to Hood. It was shot in 29 American cities, four of which are here in Northern California. This bit is from Sacramento. What this is, it's a Mac 90, you feel me? And that's how that goes. This is for the haters, though. And there is this from Oakland and Richmond. This is what I was telling you niggas about right here. That key I'm talking about. And this young man showing his profits from selling drugs in Vallejo. 95, I done lost count, but it's probably about 100,000 right here, man. It is 100,000 right here, 105,000. Epps is already the godfather of these films, available in mom and pop stores in the neighborhoods and sometimes online. He helped some of his younger protégés, also from San Francisco, put together Hood to Hood. You know, that took it to a whole nother level. There are other videos just beginning to flood the market. They have names such as The Bay Got Game, Stop Snitching, and Big Boss of the North. They are characterized by very raw looks at the young and old. They often show cars in broad daylight spinning wild donuts, young men who have lived to tell their stories, and those who haven't. Not everyone, though, is thrilled about the emergence of these films. I have a real problem with, with showing that without any solutions. Uh, I also have a real problem with glamorizing it. Joe Marshall is the executive director of San Francisco's Omega Boys Club. He spent almost two decades working with young people, trying to rescue them from just the kind of situation the documentaries depict. I think it's a dressed up minstrel show. That's the way I see it. I think it's a bunch of garbage. People seem to take joy in our misery. They seem to take joy in, uh, in our pain. They seem to, to revel and, 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 and laugh and, and they don't take us seriously. Even a lot of times we don't take ourselves seriously, which is even worse because if we don't take ourselves seriously, certainly nobody else will. Epps has a different perspective. Man, it's really not no different than watching footage from Iraq. You know what I'm saying? You see the violence, you see the, 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 the chaos, you see the the hopelessness, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't really no difference than that footage I see on that. So I'm like, you got to keep it real, good, bad, or ugly. And police departments are taking notice of the films and arresting people they can identify breaking the law. One of the most disturbing constants in the films are the children watching and learning in every town. What it is, what it was. You know what I mean? That's my little soldier in the making, you know what I mean? That's me, young bull -loke and young bull you know what I mean? <laughs> Epps has been asked to make a sequel to his breakthrough documentary, but he says he'd rather have a younger, perhaps female, filmmaker take it over. He says his plans include staying in the hood and teaching digital filmmaking to children. In San Francisco, Sarah Seidner, KTVU, Channel 2 News.